plans to utilize excess funds from the Viking Stadium Reserve to construct three veterans homes in Bemidji, Montevideo and Preston appear to have hit a snag at the Capitol today. The Minnesota House was expected to approve the provision tonight, but earlier in the day it was shot down by the governor. It's just, no, it's just not going to happen. They're not going to muck around there. I think uh, Commissioner Franz wrote an excellent letter to uh, Chairman Nabal yesterday, he detailed their five different uh, funds that they're raiding to, to try to make up. We have a surplus, you know, we have a projected surplus. All they need to do is, is uh, budget the money appropriately, not give it all away in tax cuts, and fund the schools, uh, fund the needs that exist to, to continue the same level of services elsewhere, and uh, not raid funds. I think the governor is missing an opportunity here to make sure that our, that our vets are taken care of, who currently have to travel hundreds of miles to get the end-of-life care that they deserve after defending our freedom here in this country. When it comes to the stadium reserve, I'm a little surprised in the governor's reluctance to utilize these funds. When we're looking at these funds, this is the excess of the excess funds. If you were to consider this is like we baked the cake, we frosted the cake, this is now the frosting that you have left over that you're going to throw in the trash. That's what we're talking about. We're using the extra frosting on the side to make sure that we are taking care of our veterans. In addition to funding the three veterans' homes, the House proposal would utilize funds from the reserve to fund a priority of the governor's, a new office within the executive branch to com combat har harassment and misconduct within state agencies. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.